Please all stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us begin our celebration this, um, this um, 22nd of December, and then on the seventh day of our Novena Masses, and we ask God forgiveness for all our sins and all our failures. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I've I have done failed. and in what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through, through my, my fault, fault through, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh 
God, who is seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Hannah offers her son Samuel in the service of the Lord. This act of dedicating her son, who will grow to be a prophet and leader in Israel, is an expression of her gratitude to God. The responsorial song is Hannah's song, to which Mary's Magnificat bears a striking resemblance. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord, as you live, my lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
from the dust, from the dung heap he lifts up the poor, to sit them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the heart, my Savior. Please stand. and keystones of the church come and save man whom you formed from the dust the Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke glory to you O Lord Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Siguro narinig ninyo na yung expression no? na nang sinasabi, Charity begins at home. Charity begins at home. Nakaka, meron tong, minsan meron tong misinterpretation eh. Kasi minsan ang iisip ng tao, pag sinabing, Charity begins at home, ang ibig sabihin, kung magiging mabait ka, doon ka muna magbabait sa sarili mo. Sa sarili mo, sa kamag-anak mo, pamilya mo, bayan mo, opisina mo, yung sa iyo, where you belong. So charity begins sa tumin ng interpretation ng iba. Parang mali kasi parang selfish pa rin yun. Akin muna. Yung sa akin muna. Sa tingin ko, ang tunay na ibig sabihin ng charity begins sa tumin is that natutunan natin ang charity sa bahay, sa pamilya. Doon nag-uumpisa. Doon nagsisimula ang charity kung natanggap natin sa ating mga magulang, mga kapatid, mga tito-tita, ate-ate, nag-uumpising natututo tayong maging charitable kasi nanggaling sa bahay. And I'd like to believe na si ang Blessed Virgin Mother, Blessed Virgin Mary, ay natuto ng, ng kanyang charity sa pamamahay nila, sa kasama yung kanyang magulang, si Anna at si Joachim. Um, natuto siyang maging charitable, maging mapagmahal, maging mabait, matulungin. Bakit natin nasabi yan? Kasi hindi naman niya inuna yung sarili niya. Bakit? Eh si Mary, di ba, at this point at the gospel na binasa natin sa visitation nito, dumating na, dumating na siya sa bahay ni Elizabeth para tumulong. Bakit? Kasi nung nag-announce sa kanya yung anghel, di ba, during the annunciation, nag-announce sa kanya yung anghel, meron din pinagdaanan nitong si Maria. Meron din siya dinadala. Meron din siyang pasanin. Ano yan? E una-una, bata pa siya. Hindi pa nga siya nakakasal. Engaged to be married. 
but she was found with child. The Holy Spirit came upon her and she became with child. So nagkaroon siya ng, ng baby, nag-umpisa siyang magbuntis no? by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Eh, yung magbuntis pa lang, di ba, ano na yun, um, sa pasanin na yun, mahirap na yun kasi nine months man dadalin. Pangalawa, galing sa Holy Spirit. Pangatlo, yung dadali niya, Diyos, hindi lang tao, Diyos. At siyempre, isipin pa rin niya yung mga kapitbahay. Ano sa sabihin ng kapitbahay? Hindi pa kami nagkasal ni Joseph. Meron na akong dala sa aking sinapupunan. Anong skandalo ang mangyayari? So meron siyang marami worries. No? Marami siyang isipi, isipin, iniisip. Marami siyang iniisip. Marami siyang pinag-iisipan, anxieties. And yet, nung nalaman niya, na si Elizabeth yung kanyang pinsan ay nagdadalang tao din and on the sixth month ikaanim na buwan na agad-agad pumunta siya kay Elizabeth kinalimutan niya muna yung sarili niya pumunta siya kay Elizabeth eh yung pagpunta kay Elizabeth hindi yun parang pagpunta lang dyan sa Jollibee ano? mahaba yung distance between where she was and where Elizabeth was ano yung distance parang na, niresearch ko sabi parang mga 81 miles or 130 kilometers parang from Manawag to San Fernando, Pampanga. Sabi natin, hmm, lapit lang naman yan. Isang oras lang yan. Kukotse! Isang oras lang yan kung meron kang sasakyan at kung meron kang SCTX at T-Plex. Eh, nung panahon yun, wala pang T-Plex, wala pang SCTX, wala rin kotse, camel, o kaya donkey, o kaya lakad. That means, One day, several days of walking. Eh, meron na siyang naglilihi na, di ba? Naglilihi na si Mary. Inuna pa rin si Elizabeth. Bakit? Eh, si Elizabeth, 60 years old na eh. 60 years old na bag, um, bago pa nag, nagbuntis eh. Again, through the help of, the, of, the, of God. So, inuna ni, ni Mary si Elizabeth. Kaya nga, pagdating niya kay Elizabeth, um, ang sa kabila nung dinadaanan niyang sarili, sa kabila nung kanyang mga anxieties, sa kabila nung kanyang mga problema, kabila nung paglakbay ng matagal siguro, no, dahil 81 miles, 130 kilometers of donkey or camel or walking. No? Pagdating doon, anong ginawa? Pinuri pa ang Diyos. Bakit? Mas nauna sa kanya, hindi yung paghihirap, hindi yung problema, hindi yung inconvenience. Mas sauna sa kanya, binasbasan, bin, pinagpala ako ng Diyos. Pinagpala tayo ng Diyos. And he, she enumerated all the things that God has done for the, for the, uh, ta, uh, the people of Israel. No? Para sa buong bayan ng Israel. Inisa-isa niya kung paano naging mabuti ang Diyos sa kanya at sa kanila. Hindi lang sa kanya mismo, kundi sa buong bayan ng Israel. Papano ang Diyos naging mabait, papano siya sila tinulungan, papano sila pinakain, papano sila inangat from, from a lowly place, papano sila nipa, pinalaya from Egypt. In isa-isa. Ang mas, na, mas uh, prominent sa isip at sa puso ni Mary ay kung gaano kabait ang Diyos sa kaniya at sa kanila. Kamila na yung pinagdadaanan, ha? hindi naman naubos yung kanyang kanya ang anxiety siya eh. tutulong pa nga siya dito sa kanyang pinsan di ba inuna ang iba nagpasalamat so pwede natin tanungin yung ating sarili marami tayong pwedeng itanong sa ating sarili bilang reflection no unang una gaano kadalas ba tayo nagpasalamat sa Diyos kailangan ba ng malaking, malaking, malaking bagay na favor na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos bago pa tayo magpasalamat Ganta kadalas mong magpasalamat. Nakakaya ba natin, nakukuha ba natin na magpasalamat sa so, mga maliliit lang? Na ordinary, ordinary blessings, day by day, day, daily blessings na tinatanggap natin. Hanggang ngayon, humihinga pa rin tayo. Hanggang ngayon, after COVID, after bagyo, after all, all the other uh, calamities, nandito pa rin tayo. Blessing nakapagpasalamat na ba? Ano yung latest na favor na binigay sa'yo ng Diyos? Latest blessing na tinanggap mo sa Diyos? Nakapagpasalamat na ba? 
tayo, nagiba tayong blessing para sa ibang tao. Nagiba tayong blessing para sa buhay ng iba. Another question for us. Another question, um, kapag tayo may inaalala, meron tayong problema, meron tayong dala, pasanin, nakakaya ba nating unahan yung mayroong mas nangangailangan? Nakakaya ba nating tulungan yung mas mayroong nangangailangan? O laging, ako muna. Ako muna. Pamilya ko muna. Kapatid ko muna. Anak ko muna. Trabaho ko muna. Nakakaya ba nating tumingin sa dinadaanan ng iba? Sa, para tayo makatulong. Nakikialam ba tayo sa buhay ng iba? Isa pa, may tiwala ba tayo sa Diyos? Kung sakasakaling medyo nagiging mabigat yung ating dinadaan na nagkakaroon tayo ng alalahanin, nakakapagtiwala pa ba tayo sa Diyos? Nagiging pa tayong panatag? Are we secure? Can we sleep soundly at night? Knowing and trusting that God is and has been and will always be there for us. Kaya ba natin palagi magtiwala sa Diyos? Pwede pa, sa pantanong, dagdag pa. Tayo ba? Pwede pa tayong pagkatiwalaan ng iba? Pwede pa tayong pagkatiwalaan kung sila man ay nahihirapan o sila man ay na, na, naguguluhan o nagkakaroon ng pasanin sa buhay? mapapagkatiwalaan ba nila tayo? Maraming tanong na ino-offer sa atin yung, yung magnificat na binasa natin sa gospel. Sana, sana magita yung blessing sa iba. Sana makapagpasalamat. Sana magtiwala sa Diyos. Sana magita yung um, source ng blessing to others. Makatulong sa iba. Let us all stand now. As we make Mary's Magnificat our own song, let us pray to the Father that this coming Christmas we may proclaim the joy caused by God's mercy and power. Mindful, mindful of this, we pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. May the church strive to be a church of the poor, where the poor, equal to all others in Christian dignity, not only are evangelized, but become evangelizers themselves. We pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. May those who serve in public office shun the culture of wastefulness, violence, and corruption. May they seek the common good and practice transparency and accountabil accountabil accountability in governance. We pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. May those who work for justice and serve the weak, the poor, and the marginalized persevere in their work, knowing that they bring your love to all people. We pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. May our daily lives be a proclamation of true joy and humility as we humbly serve others and remain open to your grace. We pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. May those who have gone ahead of us find peace and eternal happiness sharing in the joy at the Master's table. We pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Loving Father, listen with compassion to the prayer of your church. May what we entreat you help us to proclaim always your mighty deeds with joy and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he might find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon, the, upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord Himself has taught us. First, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I'm Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May reception of your sacraments strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merits the reward, merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Ingat tayo sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mysteries of redemption they have celebrated and grant its members the perseverance to attain the effects that flow from them through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these articles be blessed, and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God, according to the example of the Blessed Mother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.